Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions and as you can see I'm going to be watching episode 4 of the volume 7 of Ruby today. So, in this last episode we finally got the, the change in uh, of the outfits of our girls and all of the other guys as well. And yeah, they look, uh, in general, they look pretty good and it's going to take like a while to get used to them. Uh, specifically the ones that change a lot, uh, like uh, Weiss and, uh, and Blake specifically. I don't think that uh, Yang and uh, and Ruby changed that much, uh, but they look great anyway, and it's uh, it's really good to to have this sort of change as well, since they are in a, a different uh, like kingdom and with different weather conditions as well. And yeah, it, like in Volume Six, they were already in in all of this snow with those outfits, so it must have been rough for some of them. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we also saw that they were basically going to this mine. To defeat that uh, special Grim, and they had the help of this Ace Ops, and it was really cool to watch all of them in action. And it was also nice to know that they're like getting along with each other. So that's a really uh, a positive point. Anyway, we also saw this guy from the Ace Ops. He apparently has this uh, this semblance that is like the opposite of Crow. So he basically brings uh, good luck instead of bad luck, like uh, Crow. So it's it's going to be interesting to see if they stick together. Uh, I don't know if they could like um, nullify each other, but like we'll see. That would be uh, something really cool to watch either way. And I I really hope that uh, these two guys uh, can like stay together, as it would probably like help grow a bit uh, in terms of like motivating him and like just so he is not like thinking all the time that he would be like a burden and that he could he can't uh, get some help alongside with him because he will just bring misfortune uh, so yeah anyway really curious to see what's going to happen in this one uh, we saw at uh, at the end of the of the last one that um, uh Tyrion was like uh, up to something bad of course and yeah it's going to be interesting to see when the like uh, the other bad guys join as well like I'm really curious to see what they're up to uh, uh, like in, in that city, and specifically Cinder and Neo. Um, I believe they're going to eventually reach Mantle, but I don't know. Maybe they're already uh, already there, and I don't know about that. But yeah, we'll see in the, in the next episodes what happens, and we'll just see. Anyway, I hope you guys are ready, and let's start the episodes. I really want to to get the full version of this song. I mean, I want to get the full version of all the songs, but it's gonna take a while. Also curious to see all of them. I mean, all of the volumes so far have such a like good mu music. I mean, Casey and Jeff are just so good at making these music for Ruby. I'm curious to see the the rest of the of the soundtracks for this volume. Also, not sure how many episodes we are going to have. Probably going to be around thirteen again. And he's so adorable. <laughs> so happy that she's back. And the good thing about this is that uh, the opening won't spoil anything else, I believe. Maybe this moment with Tyrion. But yeah, most of the stuff that appears is stuff that we already watched. So that's pretty good. I also like how the episodes are getting longer. With a, like an average of 18 minutes, which is really good. Oh, that's the Vital Festival. The structure of it.
But they are the rules. <laughs> These girls. But you guys were incredible. Oh, the way you took down that geist without needing to plan your tactics out, you just knew exactly what to do. Well, Aesops are hand-picked to perfectly complement one another. So we can focus on our assets and leave our liabilities behind. Some of us are all asset, zero liability. <laughs> huh? Yeah? Think I've got some liabilities, Elm? Your brains for one. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, These guys are fun. You did ask. That's what looks like. Yeah, Nori is looking Hi. at it. <laughs> new best friend. Our pair name can be... Thunder Tigers! Oh my god! Perfect complimentary teamwork. Oh, yeah, I want to have my friends' backs just like that. Friends? <laughs> this isn't the schoolyard, kid. He's not a... <laughs> It's just a grabber. But I mean, like a when you go through so much with someone, it kind of changes things, doesn't it? We get along well enough, sure. I count on them to keep me alive. They do the same. But that's a job. We don't confuse the two. Hmm. Oh, but Blake Speaking looks so adorable. Job, oh, there's Iron Wood. Duty ever beckons. You all hang back a second. Mm. What do you guys want to do when we get back to Atlas? A sightseeing? Oh, what should we visit first? <sighs> How about our buds? Oh, come oh. on, guys! This is must be so tired. Exploring. We haven't done that in so long. Ruby. We just explored a whole continent on foot before flying to this one. Well, the queen. Yeah, but it was only the boring parts. We <laughs> Look almost at the ink. died. <laughs> She's so fun. Hey, heads up. Can I get the team leaders over here? There's something I'd like to discuss with you. You too, Crow. Only the team leaders? I need you on the ground, but be subtle. If people see too many huntsmen milling around, they'll get nervous. And Clover, don't take Murrow. <laughs> He's a guy. New problems in Mantle? More of the same, unfortunately. Someone in Mantle is taking up public leaders who speak out against Atlas. Oh, it's that guy. people who speak out against me. It didn't look like a pattern at first, but this is the third murder of its kind in the last week. Wait a minute. That's the guy that rode with us after we were yeah. He died? Your opposition Damn. in Mantle dropping dead isn't exactly a good look for you, huh? Not oh, he's really the one who got attacked by Tyrion. Image, but it is yeah. causing unrest. I think someone's trying to frame me, and by extension, Atlas. Yep. And it's working. Well, if it wasn't for the embargo making everybody so mad, people probably, probably wouldn't be so quick to blame you for everything else. <clears throat> Sir. No. No, you're right. Things in Mantle have been hard to manage lately. I'm not blind to its issues. In fact, that's what I want to talk to you about. With the launch of this mobile communications tower and tensions down in Mantle, I think there's a lot of good your teams can do here. What? Already? Here? No, it's fine. Let him land. I'll What's deal with him mean? myself. More uh. mantle problems? No. This one's an Atlas problem. Oh my god. Is that is that Weiss's father? Oh shit. So let me get this straight. Oh, it's really you him. This nonsensical oh my god. Of yours crippling my business. You've also decided you have the authority to commandeer private property. When the council hears about this, you will never Actually, I've already informed them. As this is now the site of a classified military operation, it didn't even require a vote. Didn't require a vote? You might want to brush up on council law before you lose this upcoming election, John. Ben. I've allowed you to land here once as a courtesy. The next time, it won't be a friendly reception. Lately, you seem to forget who your friends really are. I'm going to get that council seat, James, and maybe then you'll... You realize it. You. You wrote my missing daughter into these schemes of yours, too? 
Oh. How long has she been back in Atlas? Did Winter know about this? It was this? my decision to yeah, come here. Yeah, her. Just like it was my decision to leave. Or have you forgotten all about that? If you think I'm one to forget anything, girl, then you've misjudged the man your father is. Believe me. Yeah, a prick. I know exactly the kind of man you are. How yep. dare you speak to me that way? I have half a mind to- Half a mind to what, Shark? He's a guy. You know, your mother was devastated when you left. Don't use that. You didn't leave her room for days. You know how she gets. Don't use that trick. Upset. And this guy trying to manipulate her. One day you would overextend your reach. I didn't come here to beg for an abandoned mine. I came here to thank you for personally handing me the noose to hang you. So nice, they're sticking to her. You'll regret this. So these are the little friends you threw everything away for. Not friends. Family. Family. Yep. More family than you. This guy is the one who's going to regret so much what he's doing. Oh, now you show That's winter. <laughs> you just missed father. I wouldn't say I missed. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> Spenny, uh, always fun. Did we not start yet? <sighs> she didn't even Apparently, want to meet him. We haven't. <laughs> start what? Oh, look. It goes without saying that this arena holds a significance to all of us. Yep. It's only First fitting attack. that we should be able to reconvene here, now, when the world needs to be brought together more than ever. The road you traveled from our first meeting hasn't been easy. You fought for your school and your friends at Beacon. You talk. fought for the world and the innocent at Haven Academy and beyond. You faced down terrors people can't even fathom. That's not the behavior of students. It's the behavior of huntsmen and yep. huntresses. What's she doing? Wait. What oh, they're it? getting you graduated. Being granted your huntsman licenses. Oh damn! I know this is coming a little ahead of schedule, but hmm. brothers know you deserve it. I only That's really that nice. I couldn't do something a little more ceremonious for the occasion. I... Uh, we... We're honored, General Ironwood. But you really don't have Please. to do Please. With the threat of Salem still out there, and tensions rising in our kingdom, I certainly could use more trustworthy fighters by my side. Yeah, you deserve it a so lot. lucky to have all of you. It's okay. It's a big moment. And what better way than to celebrate here? When this tower is ready and communications are back up and running, we'll tell the world about Salem and face down whatever comes at us after that. Hmm. Together. See how that goes. That's just about all the pomp I have in me. If you'll excuse me, I have to get back to running this operation. Um, well then, enjoy the cake. It looks so manly now, with the beard. Your speech outros are improving, sir. After everything we've been through, I almost forgot this is what I wanted in the first place. Yeah. When Beacon fell, I didn't think this would even be possible. It almost feels trivial now. Yeah. Jeez, guys, I understand that. Lighten up a little. Enjoy yourselves for a change. You've earned it. Finally, someone said it. Let's kill some cake, huh? Because I can eat two slices before Ren even eats one. Who says I can't? Who says it, huh? <laughs> Nora, nobody is arguing with you about this. Yeah. What's that? Celebration cake. Oh my god. And she slices it, of course. And it's so perfect. And of course you take those. <laughs> she did it again. And Nora is laughing when she was the first one who got tricked. It's definitely a lot to take in. Which part? The finally getting the Atlas part? Getting your license part, 
But I'm not quite disclosing everything to Ironwood part. <laughs> or all of the above. Yep. <laughs> all of the above. I'm trying to do what I think is best, but I really can't tell if what's best is what's right. Or if I'm no different from Oz. Ruby, Oz only trusted himself with the whole truth. You're trusting others, but you're making sure they prove themselves first. I yeah. think that's a pretty big difference. I hope so. This says I'm a huntress now. But I don't feel like I know much more than I did at Beacon. <laughs> that feeling never goes away. Your mom, Summer, would be proud of you. Man. Yep. Her last mission. Was that another Oz secret? Hmm. There were a lot of those back in our day. But this one was a summer secret. When she didn't come back, Ospin seemed just as in the dark as myself and your father. Hmm. Still, who knows what he may have hidden from us over the years. What do you think she would have done if she learned the truth about Salem? That she can't be destroyed. Pressed on, I think. Like By you. Way. She was always the best of us. A bit of a brat, though. <laughs> but hey, I like brats. <laughs> hey, Ruby! Come check this out! I really like how Crow is more motivated <gasps> oh and motivating it's others. Board? It's an app now? <gasps> Can we write a Mega Life? It's, it's the same as before. Do I get to go undercover? <laughs> hey, you guys smell that? Oh, these guys again. Like fresh meat. That's odd. I don't smell meat. Neither do I. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Let me get this straight. You've only been official for an hour now, and you're already looking for huntsman work? To be fair, we've been official for a whole... 57 minutes. I'd like to remind you all that the real mission here is ensuring the successful launch of the communications tower. True, but we can also keep training and improving by helping where we can. <sighs> yeah. The enthusiasm of youths! Well, it's hard to argue with that. Okay, let me show you how it works. Ooh, here's an important one. Who wants to volunteer? Escort. Right. We need someone to escort children to pre-primary school down in Mantle. There's not actually any danger, but the parents fret, and that attracts Grim. Well, there is. Perfect. Thanks. It's Tyrion around. Juan, Juan, Jim. Close enough, I guess. John. <laughs> wow, my first Huntsman mission. <gasps> Next, a massive saber is loose in the mantle suits. We need two brave warriors to flush it out. Oh. Hey, hey, what? But why <laughs> didn't I get a choice for that one? <laughs> These guys. On oh, this guy. Father, you And I these guy have a visitor. Shitley. I told you I didn't want to be disturbed. Why did you let them in? I didn't. He let himself in. A spitting image of you this last What's his error? Creepily so, I might add. He's definitely inherited your Affect. Arthur. Whitley, leave us. And shut the door. Um, I said shut the door. This guy always manipulating. I, you're supposed to be dead. That is what I wanted people to think. You're right. However, I've heard things about you too, Jacques. Namely... That you have an ironwood problem. <laughs> that bastard is costing me more money every used to work day there, right? this embargo. I'd lay off every employee in Mantle if I wasn't trying to get their damn votes for this council seat. What if I said you could have your cake and eat it too? He's going to do something about ironwood. Damn. Can't believe Jax is going to ally himself with what? To take Ironwood down. That's probably what's going to happen. Man, this guy was involved with Lionheart before. And now it's this. This, ep this episode was so awesome though. 
we got to see lots of new things. And they got graduated. They, they are now entrances. That's really cool. Even if uh, it doesn't really, like, um, it doesn't mean as much as it would before because of everything that happened. I mean, they went through so much. And they are way more worried about other things than just a graduation now. So, yeah. It's understandable how it doesn't, like, mean as much as they wanted now. But yeah, it's still there and they deserve it in the end, so that's really good. Anyway, it was uh, like, a, like a really interesting moment to see uh, Jax finally meeting with Wise. And I really loved uh, like um, all of the girls' reaction when they just like stood by Wise, like uh, basically like family, like she mentioned. They are not uh, her friends, they are family now. And... M much more family than Jax will ever be, probably. I mean, he's just like going uh, like the the dark path, and he's not like doing. He, he's not uh, up to something good. That's like for sure. But yeah, I wonder how this uh, this whole plan of uh, Iron is going to go, and what's going to happen after he completes all of this and like building this communication tower on the Vital Festival like structure, and basically letting everyone know of Salem's existence. So yeah, I'm really curious about that moment and when that happens it's going to be it's going to be interesting. I mean, I don't know what what else to say. Anyway, it was uh, still great and looking how Winter arrived there a little bit after Jax left and they were just saying that she missed him by by like seconds. Yeah, she didn't really miss him. She just didn't want to meet him at all. Uh yeah. Anyway, it was a really good episode, and now we know that what's is in Atlas, uh, he was just in Mantle before. So, I wonder what's going to happen from now on, and Tyrion is still on Mantle, I believe. And I didn't really, like, uh, realize in the last episode, but I think the, the guy who died at the end, by Tyrion ends, um, it was the guy who was with them in the truck, right, when they were being, like, uh, escorted to Atlas. So yeah, that, that that's basically what happened. He just died, and it was Tyrion. So yeah, even if they have like this job, they were just like getting some jobs now. Uh, that the next episode is probably going to be about that. Um, I don't know if they are actually like going to show it, like the the escort mission. Uh, but yeah, like even if they mention that there's no big dress, like it can still attract dreams. But Tyrion is there, and they. They probably don't know about it, so yeah, it's still going to be really dangerous to do anything in, in mental right now. Uh, and yeah, it's a really dangerous moment. And I also wonder what Cinder and Neo are up to. Uh, the last time I saw them, they were uh, like showing Neo using her semblance to change the ship appearance, so it would look like an Atlas one. And they just like left, and I think they were added to Atlas. I mean, they were just like doing that transformation, so it would be the obvious thing to, to do. Uh, but yeah, I wonder wh when they will appear and in what circumstances as well. Anyway, that's something to learn later in the next episodes. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week for the next episode. So see ya!